Bonjour Genie Engineers! In this video, I want to share with you guys four things that I did the day before I took my FE exam. Now, if you're here for the first time and you want to learn more about engineering or just how to engineer your life better, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So one of my friends took his FE recently and unfortunately he didn't pass it. And the first thing he shared with me was that he did something the day before the test that he thinks it may have affected his performance. And so that is when I realized the way or how you spend your day before the test is really important. So I looked back to, to the day before I took my test and it made me realize how much it actually helped me. So I want to share with you guys these tips to help you get ready for your test. Tip number one, relax. Try to relax the day before your exam. Also, I would recommend um, if you're in meditation, try to meditate. If you like to do yoga, try to do yoga during that morning. Whatever um, helps you with your stress, whatever your ritual is, try to do it that morning. I would also recommend that you do some sort of visualization. I actually did this and it really helped me. I used to always do it in college when I, before I took my midterms or exams. And what I do, I would just close my eyes and try to visualize the space where I'm going to take the test. Um, so for the FE, for the case for the FE, try to visualize you're going to have a desk and then there's a monitor and just close your eyes and try to tell yourself, I can do this. I've been studying for this. I am ready for this. There's nothing that's going to stop me. Try to have positive thoughts. That's another thing I recommend. So relax, have positive thoughts. Uh, if you have any negative thoughts, try to block them um, because you are going to set yourself up for failure. It is not the time to do that to yourself. You have studied a lot for this test. You are ready to take this test. That's it. You have done your best that you could. There's nothing that's going to stop you. And also tell yourself this. The worst case scenario, if you don't make it, you just retake it. It doesn't stay in your records. It doesn't. It's not gonna hurt you at all. Just enjoy the ride and just you know enjoy the test and don't calm yourself. Try to find a way to cope with stress. Another thing I remember I did was I went for a run in nature. I love both of those things because it gives me clarity. It clears my mind. I I just. I just focus on the running and on nature and I don't think about anything else so it's and then after that it, I will it helps me release all the stress so find that hobby whatever your hobby is and do that during that morning because it's gonna help you release all the stress whether it is walking or gym or running or reading a book whatever that is whatever your hobby is try to do it that morning because it's gonna give you a nice relaxing morning so find ways and techniques that you are used to to kind of relax yourself and at the same time try to stay positive be aware of your thoughts a lot of times we have these negative thoughts and we're not even aware of them so be cautious about your thoughts and try to control or block any negative thoughts or you can also fight negative thoughts with positive thoughts okay guys now that you had a nice and relaxing morning let's go over tip number two so review your notes make sure you don't learn any new information because you will stress yourself out go over your notes skim to them if you have taken any practice exams which i definitely recommend just go over it as well do not take a practice exam the day before the test because you will be tired remember this test is five hours and 20 minutes so you want to have clear fresh mind so that you can perform well throughout the test now i also recommend that you get the practice exam from the ncs because one of the questions on there i actually had it on my exam so if you want to learn more about that you should definitely check out one of my other videos where i talk about the five tips on how to study for the fe so you had a nice morning you're feeling relaxed you're confident you reviewed your notes now let's go over tip number three make sure to pack up your breakfast and lunch the day before so you want to have a nice balanced meal that will give you a nice energy throughout the day you want to try to stay away from the sugar because you don't want to crash in the middle of your test 
Also, try not to eat too much because you don't want to feel sleepy during your exam. Now, I recommend that you take some water with you and some coffee in case you have you drink coffee. Now, remember, you get 25 minutes break, so you don't really have that much time to leave the building and go by and get whatever you want. So, make sure whatever you you will need pack it with you so you don't waste time or stress out during the break don't forget the calculator because you don't want to use theirs you're going to be wasting time during the test trying to learn its function so take the calculator that you are familiar with that you use hopefully during your studying and uh, if you want to learn more about which calculator you're allowed to use or which one uh, you should get I definitely recommend that you check out my other video where I talk about it more now that you have your breakfast and lunch ready to go now let's jump into tip number four get a lot of sleep remember how I mentioned earlier about a friend who didn't pass his FE well he only got four hours of sleep obviously that's gonna affect his performance I mean remember this test is five hours and 20 minutes you are going to be in there for the whole time trying to do deep work a lot of thinking trying to solve problems your mind needs to be 100% rested so make sure you get a lot of sleep and if you're having trouble sleeping the night before try to do some meditation or yoga hopefully that can help you fall asleep don't forget to do something relaxing in the morning Fight any negative thoughts and stay positive. Review your notes or any practice exams. Have your lunch and breakfast ready to go. Don't forget your calculator and make sure you get good sleep. Now, if you have any questions about the FE, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure to share it with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.